What's going on guys? This your boy Beast Mode always because I'm always beasting and we back again on Tuesday for another tutorial. So now um, we're talking about the deatomizer strike or improving your chance or increasing your chances of getting a deatomizer strike. We're going to talk about um, how you get one. What's the best way of getting one? What's the best approach? What is the best gameplay? What's the best class set up with the perks? and everything like that everybody that has gotten a deatomizer strike it's an intense thing it's an exciting intense thing because it's one of the uh, i guess one of the biggest major things to accomplish on iw one of them i guess with that being said man we just gonna jump straight into it we're gonna get into a nice setup we're gonna talk about it and we're gonna make it happen this is what we do man let's go all right first off let's let's get into um how you get one um to get a deatomizer strike you have to first have a certain gun you gotta have a certain variant gun whether it's the mv4 fallout um you got the r3k uh you can get one with the r3k wasteland i think yeah the k bar uh let's see what we got the k bar you either okay the k bar you got the k bar 32 bunker buster all right and then you got the Igloo Buster for the K-Bar. And the Igloo Buster came out on Christmas um, or the holidays. And, you know, a lot of people still use it. I still got it. And I think you have, like, uh, it's red with the icicles. You can see it's red with the icicles on it. And I think the uh, the scope on it or the sight on it has, like, an icicle where you can see through it and stuff like that. All right. You got another one you got is the uh, Type 2. What is it? The Type 2 uh, Atomic. I haven't gotten one with this yet. I've got close with it. Um, it's a pretty good gun. Then you got the LMG. Uh, I think you can get one with the Mauler. Uh, the Mauler Ruin. I'm not sure if you can get one with the shotgun. I don't use shotguns. I think you probably can get one with the sniper. I think you can get one for pretty much, you know, certain guns. Uh, every gun in every class or whatever. Or, or the SMGs, the assault rifles. Yeah, you even got the SMGs. Um, the FHR 40. I almost got one with the FHR 40. Uh, the FHR 40 Havoc. Uh, yeah, you got two. I got a. I got the Legendary Havoc, which is what came out um, with the new uh, um, uh, uh, the patch that they brought out with the new guns, the new weapons, and all this and that. So I got both of those actually. And how you get it? You have to have 25 gun kills. And a lot of people, I've heard a lot of people talk about it. You just need 25 kills um, um, without dying. You just need 25 kills. That's not true. You need 25 gun kills. You need to be on a 25 gun streak without dying. To do that is, is, is much harder, but it's not impossible. So if you put up your score streak in the air and your score streak is getting a lot of your kills and you're oh i got 15 i got 15 i got 15 i'm i'm 10 off you're really not 10 off you're not 10 off you're much more than that off because you had uh something in the air that was getting all your kills you got to go all gun kills now you can see i got the mv4 fallout all right let's go there mv4 fallout and my class setup all right for grip i got suppressor i got quick draw we all know what suppressor do um invisible on radar so basically when you're shooting somebody it doesn't pop up on the mini map where people can um see where you're at go to your locate i mean you know is, is it try hard and all this and that um another thing about let, let's go into that right quick this thing with try hards and all this and that i don't believe in that i don't believe in try hard if you one of them person or one of those people that can't play good and you get mad because somebody play could play good or play better than you or play well and you call them a try hard here's my here's what i gotta say about that try harder i'm sorry if the game is set up for you to put this stuff on and to use these things and go in and murk the competition that's what you're supposed to do so try hard saying that somebody's a try hard is like trying to not a person from doing well when you can't do well oh well it's not that's not their fault that's not their fault try harder all right let's get back let's get back into it i rock four grip i rock suppressor <clears throat> quick draw now sometimes i may rock a site i might not uh it all depends on how i feel elo 
or you know most of the, it's just elo i don't rock none of those other sites uh most of the time i rock it without the elo without any of site for your perks and this way it gets um kind of interesting i like dexterity because it lets me reload faster because i know what i'm trying to do and i know how i'm trying to work it so i have gotten it with did i have, have i gotten it without dexterity I, i'm not sure but i use dexterity because i like to reload faster scavenger is very 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 important you can get it real fast where you may not have to use scavenger it all depends on if you using if you if you using another rig one of those rigs i think you start off with like max ammo or something like that i normally use ftl so with me with ftl I, I i shoot and kill a lot so i run out of ammo a lot because i'm constantly shooting and killing somebody so i'm always running out so i need scavenger another thing well let's, let's go to this one dead silence another thing is very important to have dead silence on so nobody can hear you um on this game people are very 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 loud uh synaptic is very loud on this game the synaptic rig has a, a specialist ability where it makes it run even faster that makes him even more louder to me you want to put dead silence on the quiet all that because you it, it's good you can sneak up on people people won't hear you doing all kind of stuff you can keep these streaks going and you can keep it popping off another thing that's good to have hardline now gain bonus points for each kill up to eight kills per life two assists will give you the same bonus in layman's term hardline is all it is you get your streaks faster basically if you're a killer or if you're a person that get a lot of assists and you want to get your streaks hardline is the way to go my score streaks and how i got them set up hardline gets me to what i need to get to faster and next thing you know i got advanced uav uav counter advanced uav is coming like this next thing you know the atomizer strike game over i would say if you want to rock the mv4 if you want to rock it only have to be mv4 a nuclear variant gun use these try these attachments try these attachments all right and try these perks and see how they work uh, dexterity it all depends that's a give and take it all depends that's a personal thing but i would recommend scavenger i would recommend hardline i definitely recommend recommend uh dead silence let's go into the score streaks all right going after the deatomizer strike and if you're playing on a certain game game type i say team deathmatch because team deathmatch ends pretty fast i guess they're gonna take away your kills make no mistake these um these score streaks they're gonna take away your your your, your kills they're they're called lethal score streaks take all that off and rock only non-lethal score streaks what that does is let's say you got the uav counter uav advanced uav make no mistake every kill you get is going to be from your gun so what that's going to do is going to make you work a lot harder and it's going to make you it's just going to improve your chances of getting it now if you got hard line if you got all that other stuff on you're going to get uav and counter uav like this you're going to keep getting it fast 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 that means it's always something in the air it's always something in the air where you can track the enemy and the enemy can't track you it's been times in matches where i've gotten so many counter uavs and those and they stay up in the air so it's constantly jamming and i get them so fast because the way I kill, so I'm constantly jamming, I'm constantly jamming, I'm constantly jamming. Take all the lethals off and run non-lethals if you're going after the atomizer strike. UAV, counter UAV, advanced UAV. Advanced UAV, I think to me, is the best score streak on the game. Um, it doesn't last as long and it shouldn't last that long because if you think about it, advanced UAV, if advanced UAV is up, I mean, everybody just know where the enemy at you know the direction you know where they at you can flank them you can come up behind them because if their arrow is pointing this way you come up behind them you know exactly where they at so um putting an advanced uav up in hard line you're going to get that much faster all these other lethal score streets it's going to take away from your kills and especially if you playing on a team with people that's pretty good you got a score streak taken away from your kills and it might throw your math off when you see you looking at your kills and oh oh i'm 10 and 0 no no i'm 20 and 0 i'm 20 and 0 i'm 20 and 0 when you're really not 20 and 0 and then you got people taking away from your kills so 
it's going to make the game end a lot faster, especially if you're playing a team deathmatch. It only goes to 100. I recommend rocking these. Take the lethals off. Put only non-lethals on and go in these lobbies and and work it. Going back to uh, the class setup, suppressor, uh, not suppressor. You do not have to get, you're not, you don't have to put a suppressor on to get it. Um, this is just, these are just examples of things that can increase your chances of getting it. Let's get into it. Let's get into a lobby. Let's see how we can work this thing. And I'm going to show you guys um, the better chances of getting it. Let's go. All right. So to improve your chances of getting a deatomizer strike, man, I would say stick to the perimeter of the map. Those who don't know what the perimeter is, just run on the outside of the map. Never go in the middle because it's a lot of chaos, a lot of things happening in the middle. It's a lot of stuff going on. And you can't watch. When you're in the middle, you got to watch front, back, side to side. But when you're on a perimeter, you just got the front and pretty much the back. Now, my team, they're eating. Hold up, I hear something. We're in the lead. I hear something. All right, my team is eating. They're eating. They're eating. Let's see. Okay, somebody right here. I'm in there. I'm gone. You stick to the perimeter, all right? Somebody got a UAV up. You want to maximize that. Take advantage of that. Get him. All right. It's another guy coming. All right. Get behind the head glitch. Now, I don't normally play like this, but I'm going to just show you guys how to increase your chances. All right. That dude coming over here. What is he going to do? He's sitting there. And he might be an AFK. Let's see. AFK is a free kill, guys, if you didn't know. It's a free kill. Alright, it's one. Whoa, he hard to hit. Don't know if he's lagging. Alright. Let's go back to the perimeter. And if you run around the perimeter of the map, it just increases your chances. Uh, every You don't have to do this. Everybody don't have to do this, but it increases it. It makes it easier. It makes it better for you. Now, I, sometimes I go in the middle, but it all depends on how you play and, and what's going on and what you're trying to do. But, I mean, okay, guy, you, you got that or whatever. All right, he's over here. All right. Nobody. Okay. Let's go right here. Nobody. Normally, there's somebody there. That's crazy. Okay, they my team over there, so they might be over here. Or oh, coming over here. Yep. Yep. Don't know where you were going at, but... Look at your mini-map, man. Just read the game. Just read the game and play smart. Run around the perimeter. Don't never go in the middle unless you have to. If you go in the middle, just go in and come right back out. Uh, for your smaller maps... You just pay attention to what's going on. I mean, it's the same concept. It's the same concept, really. Um, I had to make sure what I was killing and who I, who I was going after. Oh, he killed him. Oh, you got him. I'm over here, bro. All right. Let's see. Hopefully nobody pop up behind us. Our team over there. Everybody, yeah, team behind me. Oh, you right there. UAV on wow, he waited. He really waited there. All right, dude over here. And if you get killed one or two times, don't worry about it. Just go back in. That's not going to stop you from getting it. You still can get it. You know, a lot of people get killed once or twice and they give up. Never give up. Just you still can get it. Okay, y'all got that. Let's see. All right, got him. Got them. All right. And a counter. Put that up too, brother. Nobody over there. All right, back up. Back up, get the backside. Go ahead, brother. Both of us over there, though. Don't need both of us. Don't need both of us over there. What's over there? Nothing. All right. So let's see who come around here. 
I got him. Sorry. They mean to steal your kill. They mean to steal it. Or did I? Alright, we got that up. Let's go. See how quick I got the advance? Got the advance very quick. He threw something at me, but that ain't it. Whoa. Whoa. We up out of there. Let's get out of there. Oh, he crept around. Smart move. Smart move. Got you back, boy. Tag you back. Tag you back. Let's go around and get these guys. What they gonna do. Okay. Okay. Where you at, sir? Alright. Okay. Nope. Oh, okay. You was gone either way, huh? He's to the right. He's to the right. All right, he's still alive. Got him. Stick and move all day. All right. I'm gonna still try. Oh, that is somebody. Okay. To the. All right. Come on, dude. What you gonna do? Okay, good one. All right, they got that over there. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. What's this dude gonna do? He got him. Oh, I need. I'm going back. I'm going back. You better believe I am. All right, I got phase. I got phase. I'm a phase. Oh, well, no. Let's see. Watch out. All right, let's do that. We pop this up. Nobody. 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 Okay. Got uh, him. Okay. Got uh, him. Couldn't get him, though. And see, you just keep getting advanced and stuff so fast. I mean, like, I got another advance. Yeah, I blew the deatomizer. I mean, if I was even... Yeah, that's gone, but... Because it ain't enough time. Not enough time. This is going to be over with in a little bit. Yep. But I will take advantage of these fools. We'll take advantage of these fools all day. And you just... Uh, you just play smarter. You, you go around the perimeter... Um, I use phase shift, so I wouldn't recommend going in that small room without it, you know. I got phase shift just then, and why I didn't connect, I don't know. That's been happening to me a lot lately. Like, I'll go in here, but I got phase shift, so, you know, like, I'm okay. Whoa. Wow. My aim assist just picked who it want to shoot at. Yep. I tag you, brother. I will tag you. Let's do this. Nope. Okay. Yeah, man, but just stick to the perimeter. Um, change your score streaks. Put on the best perks. Get the right gun. Make sure you're getting all 25 gun kills. Keep your poise. Stay vigilant. If you die a couple of times, don't worry about it. Keep going after it. Get warmed up a couple of times. Uh, if you go in the middle of the map, man, just go in. Peep your, peep your head in. You know, come back out. Get a couple of kills because a lot of action go on in the middle. And you can't watch your whole surroundings. Um, if you're a great player, a good player, yeah, you can play how you want to play. I play different ways. I, I rush. Uh, sometimes I don't rush. Sometimes I stick to the perimeter. But if you want to increase your chances, I would say stick to the perimeter. Just be wise. Get behind the head glitch. Read your mini map. Rock the UAV. Counter UAV. Advanced UAV. Hardline. Uh, dead silence. Uh, suppressor. Ghost is another good one. Rock ghost. 
and go at it, man. This your boy Beast Mode always, man. If you enjoyed the gameplay or if it was a help to anyone, make sure you hit that like button and comment below. Any other ideas or topics you guys want me to talk about, make sure you hit me up in the comment below. And uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. With that being said, go!